Good morning, folks. We've seen the sun continue to fire solar flares. We've seen filaments erupting. It's classic sunspot maximum. We also had a big earthquake in the South Pacific and stories on Nova astronomy and a record at Saturn's moon Enceladus. Let's start with our star. You'll see the filaments destabilize and lift away. You'll see the flashes of solar flares over on the eastern limb. Despite the increase in activity, none of those events released CMEs in Earth's direction sizable coronal holes there on the south as well. In 304 angstroms, we can better see those filaments first erupting on the north, and then afterwards, we see activity at the southern filaments turning through center disk. Very lucky they didn't erupt more fully towards the Earth. Let's go next to the solar flare chart that goes X-ray flux so you can see the rise in solar flaring that took place throughout the day. Largest one broke above M5 classification, but were all relatively impulsive events. Let's watch them here in 131 angstroms. I've dimmed the light return so we can more easily pick out the flare flashes. Nearly all of them came from the two active regions coming in from the left side, and which will be facing Earth over the weekend and into early next week. We'll see if they quiet down or continue their flaring activity over the next few days. Here's a peek at that sunspot situation. You can see that the groups are all relatively complex and retain the ability to produce flaring activity. We'll be watching their morphology as they continue to turn. Let's go next to the South Pacific, where a very large earthquake has struck south of the Loyalty Islands. This one rang in at magnitude 7.7, .7, and it produced a small tsunami of only about two feet. The diminutive size of the tsunami, combined with the earthquake being out to sea, thankfully left us without damage to the island regions. Up next, the first Nova event with helium signatures dominating the remnant, which they say means it was the interaction between a dwarf star and a helium dominant one. As we've seen with Nova astronomy over the years, that's simply their best guess, but what's important is that once again for about the tenth time in five years, they're seeing a brand new signature of a Nova event. Lastly, folks, Enceladus is the icy moon of Saturn, known to spew water jets from its south pole but they just discovered the biggest one they've ever seen, the biggest by far. While it's possible it was a chance capture, a lucky snapshot by James Webb, it's also possible that as the entire solar system is shifting, this is yet another sign of the increasing extremes we've been seeing throughout the solar system. To learn more about this solar system shift, check out the disaster video listed below in the description box. We've got other excellent resources in there for you as well. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.